It's a project uh, with the local youngsters okay. from Linz, um, stylish youngsters. Yeah. Um, do you want to say anything? Yeah, we were looking for uh, outstanding uh, teenagers um, that look uh, very different, and we try to uh, to, to figure out. Uh, how we can work with it because we are also um, having a strange appearance in the street and um, busy with identity and busy with the visual identity so there is this phenomena of emos uh, that uh, have uh, dark normally dark clothes dark hair that falls and shades uh, the eyes over the eyes uh, long hair uh, on the forehead, and then there, there are different styles. But there is the visual K also, which is more Japanese uh, originally from Japan. Okay. And there, and colors are allowed in. Okay. <laughs> so normally it's all black. Or? Normally uh, when we were in the edit it was all black, but now it's more uh, <laughs> like the emo look more like a fun. Uh, okay. Smiley and ghost and yeah, uh, but are different styles. When yeah. we were young and we were dressing black, there was the gothic, the punks, and that's it. That was it about. We have seen them, uh, them, <laughs> the emos in different places uh, in Europe. And normally they are gathered uh, in uh, public space in front of uh, metro station or in the park, the city park, as here in, in the Lentos Park. And we had uh, um, a discussion with uh, Stella Rolik, the director, about this phenomena here. And she said that it's frustrates her that they sit with the back to the museum and they never walk in. And we said, uh, okay, we were hoping once to work uh, and communicate with um, with uh, these youngsters, so maybe it's the time to do it here in Linz. Come close to the junction where yes. we first spotted Francisca, yeah. one of our collaborators. Yes, and we just saw an emo boy walking here. Yes, and we were wondering: should we approach him? Should we talk with him? And we didn't feel intuitively. We didn't feel like. Yes. we don't know why. We did, we couldn't say why. Uh -huh. But then we saw Francisca, and she was outstanding. Okay. She's visual K, by the way. Okay, so. We crossed the street and she was there yes. and she turns her head and she sees two men and no matter how we dress we don't look so young. Ne definitely not our age, we could be her parents. So we thought will she get scared or and but as we did this notion like that, she turned her head and she had such a big smile spread it over her face. And then we told her that we are an artist and we're going to make a product in a lentos and um we want to look for stylish youngsters to collaborate with. And immediately she said, oh yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, 
and read the lyrics in English and so on, and I always think um, he explains my feelings, he feels what I feel now. And I love to listen to music and I love to draw too. And I love to do makeup on me and style me. Uh, Michelle K is a um, particular style. Um, Michelle means the um, visual uh, optic, and key means um, gang or crew. Or so. We can smoke, and inside we can smoke. We can be loud. You know, it's a music style from clothing and how people um, show the emotions with music. In the evening before I go to school, I uh, fence out I uh, chose my glove. Have you seen this picture? Die Arbeit von Gil und Moti ist, glaube ich, äh, also ungeheuer zeitgemäß und inspirierend. Ich halte sie wirklich für eine Ausnahmeposition, weil sie so viel vereint. Also äh, sie sprechen und sie agieren von einem Standpunkt aus, den man vielleicht früher als Minoritär, als Minderheiten- oder Außenseiterstandpunkt bezeichnet hätte. Ich halte das ja für überholt. Ich glaube, es gibt keine Mehrheit und keine Mitte mehr. Ich glaube, wir sind gerade in einer Umbruchszeit, in der wir lernen müssen, mit Diversität, mit Unterschieden umzugehen und die als gleichwertig zu akzeptieren und auch zu sehen, wie für jeden Einzelnen es auch bereichernd sein kann, andere Lebensweisen und Standpunkte zu sehen. Hallo. 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 Ihr seid nicht Kunst interessiert, weil die haben da eine Aus für eine Ausstellung, haben es Flyers. Ja, leider kann ich keine Ahnung mehr, dass wir es mitnehmen können. Kein Taschen? Nein, leider nicht. Okay. Sie sind schwul, sie sind jüdische Israelis, sie sind Migranten und ihre Arbeit hat etwas ungeheuer Generöses und ähm, sozial Integratives. Das ist wunderschön zu sehen, wie Gil und Moti im Rahmen ihrer Projekte auf andere zugehen. How is it to work uh, in a duo? It's good to work together because you get energy and you give energy back. Mm -hmm. And you have not to worry about everything because you can share the, to organize things together. And what happened to your ego? <laughs> um, I don't worry so much about the ego, to do it alone for myself. Because I live in a, in, in, in a crowd. Mm -hmm. Why should I, I, I promote my, my personality mm -hmm. by not working together? You rather like to work together? Sure. That's what you mean? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Look at one or two things. Yes, sure. And did you ask, you ask Stella to talk with them? Yeah. Ah, so she can. I will, we will talk. Yes, yes, sure, sure. It's, uh, I think, important to try to stay in eye to eye level with anybody you want to communicate with and try to create a room for him or her to, um, to feel comfortable and even and listen to what he, she wants to say and be attentive and I think then you can talk with anybody. It doesn't matter, uh, there's no uh, barrier or, or uh, of language, no, it's not an excuse. We have our own bakery in the museum. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Uh, here, yes, here it's written seven but we start at six uh, okay. with a performance. Okay. So you are most welcome and anybody you'd like to invite can come with you. Okay. You don't need the invitation. 
Gil und Moti machen nicht nur Projekte mit anderen gemeinsam, in denen sie eben ihre Autorenschaft auch öffnen und andere daran teilhaben lassen. Sie sind jetzt nicht einfach Partizipationskünstler, wie das so fachgerecht heißt, sondern sie sind einfach auch irrsinnig gute Gestalter. So we are interested in minorities uh, because we are a minority, uh, we are gay, and no matter what we will remain minority. We are Jewish, it depends on the context, we are, we are in the Netherlands, we are a minority as uh, migrants, um, and uh, I think it's an interesting uh, point of view to try as a minority to communicate with majority, you know, and communicate also your thinking. I think it's a virtue to be a minority because you look at things differently. You see things differently from a different perspective. And I think majority needs the minority to challenge them and to uh, maybe uh, shake them every now and then also. Uh, so we, for us, anything we do, no matter the outcome is an oil painting or uh, an action or a performance, a street performance, uh, we always think about the concept and what actually we are trying to say at the end of the day and to whom. Uh, with whom are we talking and what we are trying to message him or her. That's very important for us. So there are gay matters, there are Israeli-Palestinian uh, uh, conflict. Uh, everything starts from our, per, our uh, background. And, and we like to uh, attack uh, in two fronts at the same time. A lot of projects, are, um, we came to, to work and then we talk about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Right. Or oh, um, in the dating project, we attack the, the homosexual uh, closet and the dating closet. Images in the on TV? No, I don't think so. You got so. a Jewish nose. <laughs> Mine is Jewish Bulgarian, by the way. <laughs> by dressing match, we have we have created one individuality, and it's about ego, and uh, how much you give up, you know, uh, in order to uh, be two, to create from two one, you know. Um, it's. Um, I think it's it's uh, it's for us it works, the way we dress and the fact that we dress match, um, and and we try to say by that that's uh, it possible to be tolerate to one another, you know, and it's possible to share and to share ultimately.